Hello, I'm Jody Wolf, and you're watching Expose. It is May 29, 2018, 3.50 p.m. Birmingham. Topic is Alberto. The tropical storm is uh, downgraded now to subtropical. So the water that it was supposed to have brought through Birmingham was cut in less than half, which is great for us. Because I have two neighbors that just built houses and everything that falls on them runs on to me and floods me. And I know it's bickering, but at the same time, it's a huge problem for me. Uh, when a small half-inch rain floods me, which it never before it has until they built. Uh, now I'm out here always worrying about it and cleaning up a mess. I mean, this is every time. But I know there's a lot of people that got horrible, horrible amounts of rain up in Maryland and uh, many other places in the Carolinas. Look, this storm took on an area. When I did a blog yesterday, the number of states that this storm was on at that time was 16. And there were another 12 states off to our west where above Colorado and below South Dakota, kind of Wyoming, that was the center of another storm that encompassed 12 states. That one has grown to about 14 states. Alberto has grown to 20 states. The two storms are just now making contact with one another. There's 34 states right now that's under some sort of storm watch in the United States today. I don't recall in, in my life, there may have been, but I don't recall where a storm was so large but yet it's a tropical depression. They say that this storm from the coast of Florida, that it's over 1,025 miles long, it reaches up into Canada. And um, it's taken on all the way out toward Oklahoma, the uh, eastern parts of Oklahoma and above and it swelled out beyond, as you see, uh, Maryland and beyond that point. And the outer bands of rains, that's where they got the most rain, which to the east of the storm. And let me tell you something else that we don't know anything about. No one has talked about or mentioned it. And that's Cuba. If you take the north western end of Cuba, including Havana, they have been in a solid yellow-red storm for five days right now. And that storm has not let up. It has not turned even light green or dark green. It's been red-yellow for five days now and no one's reporting on the amount of rain that they're getting in Cuba. I would say even a low-lying country like that, they have severe, severe flooding in Cuba. And I, I would say that Maryland times five at the least. But this storm did grow, and it's not done to bigger than I said it would or as big as I said it would. I said I thought that ultimately it could end up touching 26 states and before it's over with it will have touched 26 states or more. It's half of the United States and that's what worries me because this is just the tip of the iceberg. We have more to come. There's two guys that's doing um whether they're from NOAA, but they're doing it from their home and they're not doing it on the um, premises of 
we're doing it for Noah. They said, this is just what we see with our own equipment in our own home. Another storm is going to hit next week. They said they didn't indicate how big it was, but they said that it would be another rainmaker, another huge rainmaker. Now, is this happening? I know the kind of floods in Maryland is way too much. For rainmaker, I mean, those people got hammered far beyond reason, so way too much there, and I, I feel for them. Um, but in any case, there's more coming next week, and um, you just have to wonder, are we at that time period when things are just all fall into a biblical perspective of what the end days are going to be like? The skies, talking about the skies and the places at the same time, only a hundred miles away, they're starving to death. They have no food, they have no water, and there are severe heat waves a hundred miles away. That's happening in Pakistan, it's happening in India, happening in parts of Australia. Storms, coup, 100 miles away. It is so dry that the storm is not a storm, it's nothing but a, a, a mile high dust so thick that you can't see 10 feet through it. Kind of reminds me of what my parents said about the Dust Bowl in the United States. They thought back then that this was biblical. And, um, but clearly, I believe today we can say this is. And it's just the start, guys. It is still the calm before the storm. Jody Wolf Exposed.